Going for the bridge, even though a cannon's got them zeroed. That is a ballsy move. Oof. Ah, spectator mode, where you can see moments of brilliance, like this guy who forgot to put his bayonet on, so is just clubbing the enemy to death. You know, before the inevitable betrayal. Oh. Officers leading from the front, what a novelty. And incredibly dangerous. God damn it, George, not again. Oh, George. Whatever this is, I'm going to go with dueling bugles. And of course the crowd pleaser, Pink Mist. Lots and lots of Pink Mist. Let's kick this off by following those boys from Arkansas, or Arkansas if you prefer. I can't remember the last time I saw the Rebs win this map. You can sort of see the difficulty, they have a barn for cover, but they have to assault a hill bristling with artillery. Well, good luck to you. Arkansas are away, and Distracto Force 3000 are running at the stone wall in the corner. That's going to be messy. Let's take an eagle eye view and see what's awaiting them. Oh dear. And by the way, I've so far been 100% wrong at predicting who's going to win. The officer falls first. There is something quite therapeutic about watching an officer executing people with his revolver. Even better when he misses, though. So long, sir. They've only gone and taken the fence. This is unbelievable. Ah, oh, but that kind of might have something to say about it. It is effectively point blank. Oh, well, guys, you did well. We will remember the chum you're about to become. Unless, of course, they somehow managed to completely miss. You could have nearly thrown a cannonball better than that. Maybe cannon number two will give them some redemption. Oh, it's a counter-attack. Oof, there was quite a lot of friendly fire in that. Well done, cannon, well done. Good try, Arkansas. I'm sure the south will rise again. But look at these heroes acting as rear guard. Oh, he's going to go and club him to death. Now get yourself back to that barn for tea and medals. Oh, oh well. It's round two and hopefully the officer will make it to the fence this time. It appears that the vast majority of the Union troops are already dead. Luckily, they've left two flags and a drummer boy to defend the point. That's going to go well. Oh no, come on guys, leave the drummer alone. Hey, the rest of the rebels have shown up at the fence. Oh, thanks for coming, Cannon. You were a big help. <laughs> Look at these three, they're like a trident. Perfect. Now that's a spear wall. It's been a long time since I've seen a route like this. Well, I never. I need to take back almost all the terrible things I've ever said about Arkansas. Well played, CSA, well played. But just time to have a look at Chad of the match, and it's got to go to this guy. Despite being wounded and exhausted from the charge, he's going to nonchalantly stroll over, poke this guy with a pointy end, face down his colleagues, back away, shoulder the musket, and leave. What a true hero. Well, I've still got several more hours of footage like this to cut, so I best get back to it. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe for more War of Rights.